Greetings, this is Darvan and welcome to a new Let's Play series for this channel. I've um, decided I want to catch up and do some more of uh, the Kyrus Kyrosoft games and this is another one of my favourites, Ninja Village. Um, basically, it's one of the uh, it's one of their older games. Like I said, one of my favourite. I played these years ago. It's fairly short. Um, basically, it's what it is. You uh, run a village in Japan. There's bits like combat and village development. There's all sorts of things. So it's um, fairly similar to say dungeon. Uh, I think it's a dungeon village, but with um, more control over what the what your heroes can sort of do because you're like a you're playing as a tactical warlord but i mean so there's building there's combat there's exploration well all sorts of things um probably the best thing to do is to get into it so i am going to start we are going to no we don't want those that's uh, my test game so we're going to put it in here But I don't want to load the... Yeah, we'll put it in here. It'll be in slot two. You only get two, two slots. Um, actually, no, we'll put it in there. We'll delete you. Yeah. Okay, so the area name. And we got a clan name. These are the choices we get to start with. So, my... My... my Okay, and the air is Davanaguru. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Davanaguru, Dav or Davan Davan Yep, that'll do. That's why we're named Davan. We're named after the area. It is our rightful place. Greetings, my lord. It is my privilege to serve as advisor to the Darvain clan. This is Mokizuki. Here in Davanguru, there are several settlements scattered about competing for territory. The Darvain clan's holdings may yet be humble, but will change that soon enough. If you have any questions, try selecting tutorial from the system menu. First, let's build a house for the villager who accompanied you here. Select build from the menu. So let's go to the menu. Well, we've got build, we've got villagers, we've got info. Let's do system. Um, so, yeah, help. It's our tutorial there. Okay. A lot of reading coming up, so... In this simulation game, you run a ninja village in feudal Japan. Develop your secret ninja village as you fight to help the shogunate unify the country. Game flow. Earn money by having your villagers make goods to sell to visit travelers. Defeat warlords or use items to acquire new territory and expand your village. Unify Japan. As the game advances, your villagers will be able to join the shogun's forces in battle. Send them to fight regional warlords and help unify Japan under the Shogunate. Increasing villagers. Local lords join your village if you defeat them in battle. Defeating warlords can reveal other potential villagers who will join you if the price is right. Training villagers. You can spend money on to strengthen your villagers through training, raising their levels and making battles easier to win. Some may also learn new skills. Travelers. You can earn money by selling travelers food from your fields or goods from your shops. New visitors may appear whenever you defeat a warlord. Shops and goods. Workshops produce goods from raw materials transported there and those goods are then sold in nearby shops. The closer a workshop is to the source of materials, the more efficient is production. Materials 1. 
Raw materials for producing goods are acquired from fields, trees and mines. Trees and mines can be removed and set up in new locations, so try to place them near workshops. Materials 2. Travellers will also purchase raw materials from you directly. You can disable this via the menu when you want to conserve materials for production. Improving the environment. Things like cherry trees and flower gardens have a positive effect on their surroundings. You can enhance a home's healing effects, boost a workshop or field's productivity, or increase a shop's sales. Battles 1. Your villagers fight alongside the Shogun's gunners, archers, infantry and cavalry. Each battle lasts up to three rounds. Battles 2. Villagers selected for battle are automatically assigned to units based on their equipment. For example, for example, a villager must have a melee weapon and a mount to be assigned to the cavalry. Battle formation. Villagers can be assigned to front, center or rear battle ranks. Plan your formation strategically to gain an edge in battle. Warlord development. Whenever you defeat a warlord, those remaining grow stronger, so it's vital to plot your order of attack carefully. Some warlords, warlords can develop very swiftly indeed. Skills. Defeating warlords can bring you new technology. Acquiring sword technology, for example, allows you to research new kinds of swords. Villager Attributes 1. HP. Character retreats if HP is reduced to zero. Strength. Affects attack power with swords and spears. Marksmanship. Affects attack power with bows and firearms. Work. Stronger work ethic means faster work and walking pace in the village. Skills. These give advantages when invoked, whether in battle or daily life. Attack. Affects damage inflicted on foes. Defense. Affects damage taken from enemy attacks. Combat skills. Some skills like strategy or arrow resist affect all members of a character's unit. This effect vanishes if that character is defeated. Special equipment. Villagers can equip a variety of special items such as mounts to ride into battle and herbs to heal their wounds automatically during combat. Many other valuable types are rumored to be out there as well. Ending. The game ends at the end of March in the 16th game year. Your score is based on funds and points earned by the end. You can keep playing as long as you like afterwards. However, at the end of the game, some attributes can be transferred over to your next playthrough. And again, this is, Nin this is Ninja Village by Kyrosoft. So, that is the tutorial and we said we are going to where we want to build a house so let's build a house first select farmhouse from the enviro menu okay so we've got enviro we've got industry we've got shops we've got nothing in shops yet okay this is farmhouse scroll to select a location keep your finger on the item while scrolling to make fine adjustments tap to build okay now uh, if you remember these were originally mobile games I played this this one again is another one I played to death on my um, Android so I mean, not a lot has changed it's very much but uh, in keeping with the original so I'm gonna build a house Yes, a new house. My feet are swollen from standing around out here so long. I'll start working any fields nearby once I've rested up. Okay. Fields. So we've only got one, so let's build another one. Let's have a look. Let's build another field. And we're going to build it here. Now, that build is inaccessible. It's telling us that. Place the footpath, drag, tap a starting point, then drag to extend it. We know this. We've seen this before. There we go. Hello, I had no idea there was a village out here. I was just peddling wares and decided to stop by. This is our merchant from a merchant. 
you happen to have any food, I'll be happy to purchase some. A welcome offer indeed. Why not sell some food from our some of the food from our fields? A new issue of Ninja News is available. Yeah, greetings and welcome to the first issue of the Ninja News, a publication by ninjas for ninjas. We risk our lives to bring you all the latest news. So we hope you'll make use of it. It seems that a newcomer known as the Darvain clan has arisen to challenge the local lords warring for the control of Davanguru. They too evidently seek to unify the area under their rule. We look forward to seeing how they fare in this ongoing struggle. We'll continue to bring you updates as they come in, so stay tuned. Wow, he seems someone's staying on top of developments here in Davanaguru. This could prove useful in the future, so let's keep our eyes and ears open. Okay, very well, I'll buy six units of food for 18 gold. So that's three gold per food. Nice. I'll be stopping in now and then, so I hope you'll consider expanding your fields. Yep. Lord Davain, I have sent an operative to the Iroa district to gather intelligence. It seems the mission was a success. Let's see what our agent discovered. <coughs> Hello, I'm Inuzuka. I've returned with information that could help take the Iroa district. I hope it proves useful. Ooh, so we can... The area Haroa di district is now ripe for the taking. Select it to launch an attack. Okay. I hope to be of service in the future, Lord Doraine. <laughs> yeah, the fanfare counts as sound effects, so. Inazuka has joined the village. <coughs> and she is homeless, so let's build her home quickly. Let's build. We'll get that done, and then we can focus on. And what we'll do is we'll give her something to do. So let's, we'll fill in a farm here. And you know what? We will scroll out because we will capture the Aurora. There we go, she's off. Can be taken in battle. This is the Aurora district. It's got 20 squares. Its, it's lord is the Nishizara clan. The expedition costs 20 gold. Let's raid it. Okay. Got our members. We've got three infantry. Yep, yeah, let's have a look at them. We have Maruko, Enoki, and Inazuka. Okay. They're all infantry. Their formation. You can assign the villagers positions within their respective units. Place those with strong defense in the front line. They'll protect those from the rear from the brunt of the attacks. Skills that affect an entire unit, like strategy or arrow resist, last longer from members placed in the rear. So, we have Maruko, who's a strong, got a strong back. Um, yeah, he's alright. It just, it doesn't really matter. He's not much of a fighter, but we ain't really protecting him, so he can go in the center. Enoki, defense up. Okay. And Inuzu, arrow proof. Okay. We'll stick her up the front then. Not that it really matters, because I don't. I'm not sure there is any infantry, but we'll find out. But yeah, that's us done. It's going to cost us 40 gold because of the members we're adding to the expedition. So let's march. All right, onto the Aurora district. Let's take it quickly. Round one. We inflicted 55 total damage on our opponents. Damage inflicted is displayed on the right, while damage taken is displayed on the left. 
New territory acquired, Aurora District. Hey, I didn't think you'd be fighting for real, says John. Since you've taken my land, I guess you'll have to accept me into the Divine Clan. John has joined the village. He's homeless, so let's build him a house. I place it there. What we will do, we will destroy this ruin. Boom. Oh yeah, I have an interesting tidbit for you. It's about the Hohito district. I dug up the info in hopes of using it one day, but it's useless to me now, so I'll pass it on to you. Yeah, we can capture the Hohito district. The area of Hohito district is now ripe for the taking. Select it to launch an attack. Let's build. We're going to build another farm and we're going to build it there. Okay. And then let's get to. Well. get to the Aroha district can be taken in the Hohito district can be taken in battle Hohito district 15 squares the Lord is the Sakuji clan cost 40 to raid it let's go okay now we get an extra one we get John let's have a look at John John is in the infantry okay let's go here this is their stats more stats, what weapons they've got. Chain attack. Okay. Chain attack, yep, we'll stick him at the front. Let's march. Alright, onto the Hohito district. Let's take it quickly. Us four versus their ten. <laughs> New territory acquired, Hohito District. Alas, my dream of ruling the land is over. I'm not happy about it, but I have to eat, so I'll serve the Darwin clan. Sakuji has joined the village. She's homeless, so let's build her a home. And we're gonna put it... We're gonna put it... Let's put it there, actually. We'll put it here. And then we will build a, a field next to it, I think. <laughs> Darvain, we've caught a follower of the Nishizara clan. He fled when the clan fell. There's nowhere to go, so let's let him stay here. Nishizawa join the village. Okay. What we will do then is we're going to knock down those houses. Let's pop. Um, yeah, let's pop our house down. With, again, we will have a field next to it. Gives them something to do. They, everyone gets a field. 
Congratulations, we're close to unifying Devana Guru now. But our next opponent is a formidable one. We may need to reevaluate our equipment. On that note, there's someone I'd like to introduce. <laughs> Greetings, I represent Pumpkin Products. This is Kaboemon. We carry goods from across the country, so if you have need of anything, just say the word. I hope to see you soon. Farewell. Looks like he's a ninja too. Select merchant from the menu when you want to summon him. Okay. So. Merchant from the menu. Welcome to Pumpkin Products. What can I get you? Okay. So we have a Bakutu, a, wakazu, a, a Wakazashi, and a Breastplate. Our weapons is a Bakutu Wakazashi, so Bakutu is made of wood. Wakazashi is is made of so that's about one. What have we got? Breastplate. Simple breastplate. Okay, let's see. What can we afford? Um Let's give some people a let's buy some breastplates for people, see if we can get them to survive a bit more. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Um yeah. Why not? We'll, we'll do that. Thank you. See you again. So, how do we... Let's see. Let's equip. Ah, right. Strength, train, and equip. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got... Well... Um, if we look, we'll go on the back. Defense up. Arrow resist. You know what? Defense up. Yeah, we have... Well, we need to get you a weapon. That would be useful. And that works on yourself. We've got arrow resist. Let's see. Let's see. Strong back. Carry more per trip in the village. Let's have a look at the villager profile. Strong back. Villagers can sometimes learn new skills. Carry more per trip in the village. You're equipped with a scythe. Okay. Defense up. Gives a plus 10 defense bonus. Farming tool, let's see. Attack work plus eight, so that's Quarter is arrow proof. You're gonna say it every time. Invulnerable to arrows. Chain attack. Execute one additional melee attack. No skills. And arrow resist reduces ammo da arrow damage by five percent. Okay, well we're gonna give you a breastplate. So look, you've not got a weapon, so let's see what we can afford for a weapon. Can I have thirty for? Or we can give you a Wakazashi. Well, you don't have any skill, so... I think we can do with a Bakuto. For you, I think. Yep, you can have a Bakuto. What can we afford? Um... You've got defense up, so we'll give you some extra defense. Now we can't afford anything else, but we're done. 
so we're prepared for battle now. Looks like we're running low on funds. Just so happens that I have saved a bit of money for just such an occasion. But this is all we have, so please watch your spending. 400 pound, 400 gold. A new issue of Ninja News is available. Big news from Daran Guru. According to our sources, the Davain clan has defeated both the Nishizawa and Sakuji clans and now rivals the Asaru clan in power. A decisive contest could soon could well be coming soon. Local residents would be well advised to clear out of the vicinity. Okay. Oh, we got something extra this time. Little touches like that do bring in the customers. Let's see what it is. Wow, it's tactical info on the Asaru clan. The area, the area Chirinuru district is now ripe for the taking. Select it to launch an attack. Funny that. So we have the Chirinuru district, 26 squares from the uh, from the As the Lord is the Asaru clan. Cost 60 to raid it. Let's go. Got all our members. Yeah. Formation. Let's have a look. Um, niches. You doesn't really matter. Arrow resist. Okay. Well, we'll put you at the rear. <coughs> um. We'll put you at the centre. You're in for, we'll get you at the front. We'll get you at the front. Strip. Okay, uh, let's march. All right, on to the Chirinuru district. Let's take it qu quickly. <coughs> so they've got archers. And they've got infantry. Yeah! On to the archers! Yeah! New territory acquired, Chirinuru District. Well, well, I had no idea you'd come so far. I know when I'm beaten, I'll serve you well. Saryu has joined the village. Davanguru has been unified. Congratulations, Davanguru is now un one under your rule. But our work is just beginning, we'll need to store up funds as well. Fortunately, the Asuru clan had a tea shop and workshop we can use. Try selecting them. Okay, so they have... There's a box of money in the area we just acquired. Select it to open it, okay. We've got you. Let's have a look. There's a... What is it? Workshops produce goods from food or other raw materials. They decide what type of goods to produce based on what shops are in the area. Okay. With shops, we can earn money by selling goods to travellers passing through. Goods are produced by workshops and bought to neighbouring shops to be sold. Okay, so what do you got? Uh, they're selling rice cakes. Let's look at the products. Yep, we can halt sales or it costs one food to process into rice cakes. Okay. New, nin a new issue of Ninja News is available. Devon Guru has been rocked by changes recently, but it seems the turmoil is finally over. The Darvain clan has decisive decisively defeated the Asiru clan and unified Darvain Guru. Now that the fighting is over at last, expect to see more travellers visiting the area. Residents would do well to spruce it up with shops, workshop and other amenities to keep visitors coming. Okay. Hello, I'm a wandering traveller. 
I've always avoided this area because it was so dangerous, but I heard it is safer now, so I thought I'd pay you a visit. I'd love to rest a bit at a tea house if you don't mind. Okay. Let's have a look what we got. Um, 200 gold obtained. Okay, now I believe she's homeless. So let's build a house. And going to um Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Or we can I never got a field. The shop has run out of stock. Set up fields or workshops to increase production. If we're running short of materials, another option is to halt the sales of travellers for the time being. Just go to materials under the info to menu to toggle sales on and off. Info. Is it materials? Food. Are we selling food? Yes, we are. So we're going to sell food. We've got loads of fields, so yeah. Okay, new research topic. Bean soup. New issue of Ninja News is available. Momentous news. The long-reigning Shogun has been driven from the capital. The Shogunate's downfall is sure to ignite a struggle for power amongst the country's warlords. Incidentally, the Shogun's whereabouts are currently unknown. What an incredible turn of events. Who knows what may happen next? We'd best keep close tabs on the situation around here. Okay, we have research. Let's do research into bean soup. Lord Davain, we have a very important visitor. Greetings, I'm the Shogun. I was driven from the capital recently. His, his name is Ashikaga. I was at a loss for where to turn when I heard about Davanaguru. Let me get right to the point. Will you help me restore the Shogunate to power? Yes! We will cooperate with the Shogun. We don't really have a choice. That's like the next stage of the game. As you saw from there, it's either yes or sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'd like to build a castle nearby and organize an army. I'm afraid I'm short on funds, however. Could you possibly contribute? I'm counting on you until we meet again. Wow, I was so nervous, but this could be a great chance to demonstrate our power. Select research from the menu when you wish to contribute funds to the Shogunates. Oh yeah, let's introduce us to research. Bean soup can now be sold. Bean soup can now be sold at the tea shop. It costs one, but we get ten gold for it. Okay, we will switch to be selling bean soup. We have a new offering for sale, bean soup. Select the tea shop and try to change the changing the goods up for sale. Okay, we have new research. What is the research? Fund the Shogunate. We need to give them two gold. Two hundred gold. Okay. But, gonna leave it here. This has been Darvain doing a Let's Play Ninja Village by Kairosoft. If you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. 
please consider sponsoring me on Patreon. And until next time, goodbye.